Music theory is made out to be like a demon that haunts guitarists and is super complicated and super frustrating to learn. However, that doesn't have to be the process you take. I'm telling you the way I learned it simply and stress-free, you're gonna be able to amplify your guitar results just like that. The first step of this journey is always learning what intervals and counting are. If you don't know the notes on the guitar neck and what a major third, perfect fifth, and all of that is, I have another video out, but learning that is the very first thing to do because that is actually how everything is built. The second part of theory is just learning where rhythm comes in. This part is really easy and just being able to do basic math in fours, and then learning the concept of how it's used to connect all the instruments together and how it makes people move. These are all very simple things that have nothing to do with the pitch part of theory, but all in the groove. After that, I would immediately move into triads as they're the most important chord you are ever going to learn. It's what your open chords are, it's what your very easy bar chords are, and so on. And learn triads and how they stack as a root third and fifth and then also learn how they can become suspended with a fourth or a second and how other things affect what a triad is it is a super easy step when you actually understand number one and the fourth thing i would do is immediately learn extensions for triads since it would be fresh in your brain and it really engrave it in your learning the fifth step that is a very hard step for people to complete unless you make it super super simple when you play any chord, you often see people call it either by its note name or one, four, and five relative to the key. So by understanding what a key is through intervals, we can now take what our one, three, five, et cetera is and use that to create functional harmony to change the tension and feeling of a song piece. We have our chords one through seven and how they extend and then relating these notes to each other like one to four, five to six, three to two, et cetera is functional harmony and learning the ins and outs is super super simple it only takes just playing them in different keys and kind of understanding how you feel towards it and the most important side note i will go on is when you try to learn how things feel instead of just thinking well two to five and x sounds like y because someone in the video said it learn it for yourself because that's how you're going to adopt your own guitar style when someone else plays a two to five to them it might sound happy in the key of G, while to you, it might sound more angry, and that is where your personal style would come in. So explore this on your own, please. The next line of progression is going into scale slash modes, so you can start playing guitar solos and looking like you know everything. And the reason we do this after chords is because often knowing what chord you're on due to functional harmony and intervals will often tell you where you are to start and play a scale slash mode because they're really the same thing. And then the next part of this would be taking the key you learn up here and what notes are being played, functional harmony to drive the song forward, what notes are being sung, played on the guitar that are specifics, and how they harmonize to the chord beneath them because this is really where you can create tension, emotion, Anything in your music is through the harmony of your melody that is created by playing some combination of notes related to a scale slash mode and then harmonization and learning how they play together is really important. And the double part of harmonization is when you play out one note, have another instrument play out that, and now those two notes are harmonizing together, which is how you create chords. But if you don't want to create a chord and you just want to sound ugly, you can make really interesting things. And all of a sudden, the way these notes interact give immense emotions. Pair that with chords and you've learned the whole round table of harmony. It's You can really start creating things. And once you reach this point, you really know enough music theory to get around in the guitar world, jamming with others, even creating your own simple music, just like pop music, country, whatever. And you have the proper standing ground to actually go into really scholar stuff if you're super, super interested in the super minute details of music theory, whichever way you wanna take it, taking these steps and avoiding the mistakes I made by learning things in a jumbled order is going to amplify your results, get them to you quicker, and everything is going to work out great for you. And if you want more easy, simple content around music and guitar, subscribe for more and comment what you think of this order of progression. 